really actually we start by naming the good that we see. So it's, um, you know, in, in some systems, uh, the process of affirmation is kind of like, I'm gonna find five things that I wanna say about myself. You know, I am blank, I am blank, I am blank. You know, <laughs> it's a way of reassuring or whatever, opening up our, what we're trying to claim. But actually, the way we start is by asking people to name what they're seeing or experiencing outside themselves that they are enjoying and that f what, feel, what feels good for them. Um, partly as a way of, like one, one of the things we notice is that, like if I notice the good stuff that's out there, then not only is th it's a, just an interesting point of view to be looking for the good rather than looking for, th for the critique, but also I get to have that experience again. So if I go to a movie and I come out of it and I rehearse all the things I didn't like about the movie, I spent that time in the movie and then I've come out and I'm rehearsing all the things I didn't like. What a waste of time, you know, in some ways. Um, but to be able to be aware of the things that, um, that, I, that I appreciated, that I enjoyed, I also get to have that experience again. So we're, we're giving people a direct experience of, well, what does it feel, what does it feel like in your body? It feels good. Um, and then it turns out that in the world, there's just so little oh. affirmation. You know, it, we, we could tell stories kind of back and forth about situations where we've just said the simplest thing to people kind of in recognition of what we were seeing in them or, you know, our appreciation for them or whatever. And it was like, oh, thank you for saying that. Nobody ever says that to me. Um, and sure. what's up with that? You know, we're all working really hard and no one is kind of pointing that out. So witnessing is a part, so affirmation is a social reality and interplay more than a personal work that I must achieve to uh, reassure myself. Um, so in witnessing, we're practicing noticing uh, uh, if I notice you and notice what, what's moving about your attention. I could actually say that I'm moved by your attention or by the tears that come to your eyes or I, f and I, I, can, I feel connected to that. Um, that would be an affirmation. Right, so it would be an authentic experience of what's happening. And that happens, that witnessing thing happens all the time in interplay. So people are getting fed constantly. I hope, <laughs> I'm having <laughs> each of those pairs, <laughs> but I, more and more they're being given the experience of somebody recognizing them and recognizing something about them. But in addition to that, in order for a person, and I have to just bow in front of the amount of shame that people are enduring um, and living with. I, you know, again, I don't think there's any easy answer, including a set of affirmations, which I've seen people say over and over and over to a little, you know, effect, a little medicine, like taking vitamin C for a really bad flu. Um, I though think, I, I, I was watching m my husband yesterday who had an interview for a job. And he was, he was telling me about it. He was sitting back in his, in his chair, and he was like, well, he told me that he'd overshared during the interview. <laughs> and he didn't really want the job, so it's not so bad. But I said, well, maybe, you know, like we were, we were noticing his truth. And I said, well, what if you just stood up, you know, stood up on your feet and just claimed that these things are true for you? You don't want the, the job. No, 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 no. And so he did. He stood up because he's an interplayer, and, he, and w we have this thing that we all stole from Phil where you take your little, your little stick of inner authority in the top of your little mountain of <laughs> this island. It. You plant it. <laughs> so like, th there's this need in the body to kind of go, true, like you do when you stake out something. When the body goes, true, it's like, oh, this is true. That for me is a better affirmation, a more, more of a physical mark in my body, I put my stake down here, then saying over and over to myself, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Because I know I'm not, you know, it's <laughs> like, but, or I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm hot, not really, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of cute, something. <laughs> There's all sorts of conditions about, you know, my, my life. So affirmation is social, and I think it's really, when there's something that we're coming up against that, that's harsh or hard or, you know, wobbly in us, it requires some other securing. And, and we do believe that. I, I mean, it's my experience that if I'm 
if I'm less judgmental uh, in yeah. to the the external, that I can also be less ju judgmental. We learn to, the to do internal. that more for ourselves. Yeah, so I think it's kind of a, it's an indirect way of getting back to being able to claim what what we even appreciated about ourselves. You know, I did well. I I just did this thing. Well, I did that part pretty well. I did that part pretty well.